So in this Khan Academy module, we're trying to find the y-intercept if we're given the equation of a line. So in one form here, we're given an, an equation with x and y on both sides, right? Negative 9x and 9y, and then 81 on the other, a number on the other side. This is called standard form. And when you have standard form, it's quite useful to find the intercepts because remember that a y-intercept, that's when your point is on the y-axis. Right? So if you have a, a graph, let's say we have this x and y axis right here, right? This is our x axis, this is our y axis. And let's say uh, I've got some line on it, right? Here's some function. Well, when this green line crosses the y axis, that's the y intercept, right? And if you think about what that means, it means that your x value is guaranteed to be zero. For example, if this point is up two on the y axis, what point would that be? Well, if it's up 2 on the y-axis, we know the y-value is 2 in the point. But the x-value is 0 because it's on the y-axis, right? You know, x is 0 here on the axis. It's 1 here and 2 and so forth, and then negative 1 and negative 2 in the other direction. But on the y-axis, x is always 0. When you're given an, uh, an equation of standard form, we just plug in x equals 0 to solve for the y-intercept, right? And here... We can quickly solve. Negative 9 times 0, well, x is 0 at the y-intercept. So we have 9y equals 81. Divide both sides by 9. And the y-intercept is just 9. And the point you would enter, if they ask for a point, is 0, 9, right? That's our y-intercept. If you're not given an equation in standard form, you might be given this equation right here. It's the y equals mx plus b format. That's the m for the slope and b for the y-intercept. So when you have this format, know that b is always your y-intercept value right there, right? This is the the value, right, uh, of the height at which you cross the y-axis. So we have to solve for b, and we know that y is equal to negative 9 fourths x plus b. Well, how do we solve for b, right? There are three variables. Well, in these cases, they give you a point, negative 1, 1. And in this point, negative 1 equals x and y is equal to 1, so 1 equals y. So they give you a value of x and a value of y that are solutions for this equation. Remember, every point is a solution for a line. So instead of writing y, we could write 1, because y equals 1. And instead of writing um, x here, we could write negative 1. So we write this, sorry, negative 9 over 4 times 1, sorry, times negative 1, plus b. So now we only have one variable. Two negatives here multiplied to a positive. So what do we have? I'll write up here. We have 1 equals positive 9 fourths plus b. Solve for b by subtracting 9 fourths from both sides. Now that means that b equals what? Well, 1 is like 4 over 4, and we take 9 over 4 away. That's negative 5 over 4, and that's the b value. So when you're given an equation in this form, basically just take your point and plug it into your equation right here. Alright, thanks.